So this is the chastity talk for this parent action, and chastity is a virtue. Um, and so the opposite of chastity is lust, and that's what I really want to talk about. And the definition of lust is the disordered desire for sexual pleasure, where sexual pleasure is sought for itself, isolated from its procreative and unitive uh, purposes. And so we save sex for marriage because of its procreative and unitive purposes. When it's done outside of marriage or with contraception, it breaks those things. A lot of chastity talks are about relationships. You need to know the definition of lust before you can even uh, compensate those questions about where to go with a relationship. So the disordered desire for sexual pleasure is what sets us off our course. So how do we fix that within ourselves and uh, work with that? So while doing research for this talk, I found that the definition for sex addiction is the same thing as lust. And that is the disordered desire for sexual pleasure. So what we need to do is find out why we have that disordered desire and how can we fix it. And I've struggled with this for 10 years. A disordered desire can mean, doesn't just mean having sex. It could be fantasizing about sex. It could be masturbation. It could be uh, pornography. It could be a lot of different things. And uh, so how do we fix that within ourselves? Because we can't have a good, healthy relationship with other people until we do. And if you don't struggle with those things, you need to know these things so then you can have good relationships with people who are trying to work to be better. So how does sex addiction or lust start? There's lots of different ways that it can happen while doing research. I found that it can happen through early depression or uh, isolation of any sort, even being isolated physically or emotionally from other people, or it can just happen on its own without any forthcoming uh, signs. It's estimated that anywhere from 12 to 30 million people have some sort of sex addic addiction. That could mean masturbation, fantasy, or things leading up to sex. And so those things can be really harmful for our spiritual life. And like I said, I've dealt with this for 10 years. I've struggled with these things. I found in different ways can be really helpful to battling that. Uh, obviously, prayer is the best way to go and God's gonna help you get through it. But we can't just rely on prayer and God. Part of it is he wants us to get better. So praying, number one. You should always be praying and pray for God for assistance. Two, <laughs> talk to someone. So like I said, there's about 12 to 30 million people who struggle with sex addiction. That means someone you probably know is struggling. Or if not, they know people that have, have struggled and so they can uh, help. So find a priest. I always found priests really helpful. If you're not comfortable talking to them face to face, sometimes in confession, if uh, you go behind the screen, then they can still give you helpful advice on how to conquer that sin. Um, which a lot that I've gotten is stay away from triggers. If movies, if movies trigger you, stay away from certain movies for a long time. If it's music or if it's uh, certain books, then try to take those out of your life. If you're watching a TV show that's not appropriate, that's making bad jokes, and then gets you into that state, stop watching it. I remind myself physically, so I wear my bracelets and my necklace to be a constant like reminder when I'm running and it bounces on my chest. I remember that I need to be better and stuff like that. And at night when I might be tempted, I can feel it on my wrist. So I remember, stop. So this disordered desire gets in our way of making relationships with others. When I finally realized what I was doing was wrong, I heard an, uh, an older girl who went to my school finally talk about it and it was so relieving to hear that someone else dealt with those things because I always thought I was wrong and like I felt very alone because I did not, no one talks about masturbation or uh, fantasy in the Catholic Church and especially during chastity talks and that's why I want to talk about this. Um, know that it's normal to have desires but it's when it's that disordered desire 
And how do we help our friends? We help our friends by being understanding, by praying for them, and asking God to assist them. But we should help our friends and help ourselves when we need that because we can't get into relationships with other people until we feel okay with ourselves. And sometimes it's very hard to uh, be chased when, with someone else when you're not being chased with yourself. And I've struggled with these things for a long, long time and uh, I've gotten a lot better. That doesn't mean I don't struggle anymore. I still struggle. I go through times of my life where it is the hardest thing happening after I went through like six months of nothing and it'll just come back and that is just my own experience with it. So I hope this helped. I know I don't have a lot of time. Uh, please reach out to me if you feel comfortable with doing that or with a trusted adult or friend and talk to a priest and pray and if you need physical reminders like me please please do it they help this is the thing that i think helps the most and just know that you're loved by god so much if you are struggling with lust this dis uh disordered desire for the sexual pleasure um know that you are still loved by god and i know it's really hard and it's full of hard challenges especially when you don't think anyone else struggles with it but please know that other people do and please talk to them so please contact me if you have any uh, questions about lust and the disordered desire for sexual pleasure bye guys